Hi, my name is Stu, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to log in locally to the AWS CLI using IAM Identity Center and how to use this with Terraform. IAM Identity Center, if you're not aware of what it is, is just the replacement for AWS Single Sign On or AWS SSO. IAM Identity Center allows us to connect to one or more accounts using a centralized login, whether this login is from Google, Microsoft, or any other provider. So how do we use IAM Identity Center locally? Before we get started, make sure you have the latest AWS CLI installed. I have nothing configured in this setup, so I'm going to walk through the exact steps I take to go from logging in all the way through to Terraform plan. To configure our local AWS CLI for SSO login, we need to run AWS configure SSO. If you're setting up multiple profiles, then you want to add dash dash profile and then the name of the profile that you want to configure. As you execute this command, follow the on-screen instructions for supplying the start URL, the region, the output, and any other details the CLI may ask you. Once we have the CLI configured, we then need to run AWS SSO login. If you set up the profile using dash dash profile above, you'll also need to log in with this. So your command will end up being AWS SSO login dash dash profile, and then the name of the profile that you want to use to log in. Multiple profiles are very handy if you have multiple AWS accounts. As you log in, a browser window may appear to authorize the local device. You may also be asked to allow the connection from your local machine. Once logged in, we're free to start executing AWS commands. Note, you may need to add the dash dash profile to each command that you execute, or if you're lazy like me, you can add an environment variable called AWS underscore profile and then set the name of the profile that you want to use. Then you can do the commands you would normally do, such as AWS S3 LS. In theory, we now have everything that we need to execute commands and work with Terraform. If Terraform doesn't work locally for you, then you're gonna to need to do a few extra steps, which I'm gonna go through now. When we go to our start URL, we can select the account that we wish to access. From here, we can select command line or programmatic access. We can then copy the credentials to our AWS credentials file and proceed to use Terraform as normal. This is also a process that we can automate, which I'll show you now. The following steps work with the Terraform CLI and AWS V2 CLI at the latest versions at the time of recording. For my Patreon supporters, you already have access to my AWS auth script, which I use to log in and do a bunch of other things such as list accounts and account roles. You'll find the link for this in the description below. When we log in via AWS SSO login, a file is created under the .aws directory under the SSO slash cache folder. This file contains an access token, which is used to get credentials and work with the AWS CLI. We can reuse the same access token to grab the role credentials and store them in our credentials profile so that Terraform picks it up properly. The way that the AWS CLI generates this SSO cache file isn't exactly obvious. We first need to look up one of two different values from the AWS config for the profile that we're trying to use. Once we have the value, we can then pass it through a SHA-1 function and produce a hex digest string, which is used as the file name. The first value we look for is something called SSO underscore session. If this value is present, then we will use this as the input to the hash function. Otherwise, we will look for a parameter called SSO underscore start underscore URL and pass that into the hash function instead. Once we have the access token from the SSO cache file, we can use the access token in a call to AWS SSO get role credentials. Here we need to pass in the role name the account ID and the access token. With the results returned, we can then make a series of calls to AWS configure and set the appropriate values. This sets up our credentials file properly as if we were using an access key and secret key, and then we should be able to use Terraform as normal. We can also use this access token to do two other things. The first is listing accounts, and the second is listing the roles that we have access to in a single account. To list all of the accounts, we follow the same steps to get the access token from the SSO cache file. And then we make a call to AWS SSO list accounts. 
remembering to pass in the access token. If you have a lot of accounts, you might want to consider adding the no paginate option. The second command allows us to view all of the roles that we have access to inside of a single account. Again, we follow the same path to get the access token from the SSO cache file. We can then make a call to AWS SSO list hyphen account hyphen roles. Here we need to pass in the access token plus the account ID. In return, we will get a list of the roles that we have access to inside of that account. Helper functions for both of these commands are included in my AWS auth script, which is linked in my Patreon below. Like and subscribe for more content like this before going to watch three amazing things you can do with AWS Route 53.